Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to set up the Brothers Trend AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender. This extender is perfect for eliminating dead zones and expanding your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home or office. Let's get started. First, let's unbox the Brothers Trend AC-1200. Inside the box, you'll find the Wi-Fi range extender, a quick installation guide, and a power adapter. Make sure you have everything you need before we begin the setup process. Plug the extender into a power outlet close to your router. Wait for the power LED to turn solid blue. This indicates that the extender is powered on and ready to be set up. Now, connect your smartphone or laptop to the Brothers Trend Wi-Fi network. Look for a network name similar to Brothers Trend underscore EXT in your device's Wi-Fi settings and select it to connect. Once connected, open your web browser and go to the address shown in the quick installation guide usually 192.168.0.254 or ap.setup. You'll see a login prompt. Typically, the default username and password are both admin. Input these credentials and click login to proceed to the setup page and start configuring your extender. On the setup page, you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Select your existing Wi-Fi network and enter the password. This will allow the extender to connect to your router and extend your network's range. Once the connection is established, the signal LED will illuminate solid blue. This indicates that the extender is successfully connected to your network and is now ready for use. For optimal performance, place the extender halfway between your router and the area where you need better signal. Make sure the signal LED remains solid blue. If it turns red, it means the extender is too far from the router and you need to move it closer. 